Well, hey guys, um, I sort of finished my project here. It's about 95% complete. I think it's complete enough to show you what I did. My last video, I wanted you to guess at what I was gonna use this for. I'm gonna show you what, how I've got it hooked up. I used some Romex with this plug connector here. I went inside this breaker. It's coming out and going out over there. I've got it running. A refrigerator uh, some of you guessed it correct um, that's about all the power has been using I've had it on for a while it doesn't seem to go above that as you notice I did get a different um, power inverter uh, I know it's upside down but it's a 1500 watt continuous 3000 uh, peak um, it's a 24 volt I am now at a 24 volt system um, this battery is going away. I'm getting another one of these. And uh, I've got it uh, hooked up in series. Get me my 24 volts. And this thing is a lot more efficient than that big old uh, Jupiter that I would, had on here. Doesn't hardly use near as much power. Um, also, another change I've made. Uh, added this little fan here. Uh, this gets a little warm due to the fact I believe since now I'm running a much higher voltage off my panels I've got uh, 800 watts total uh, I've ran my panels in series um, I've got 400 watts in series and then another 400 in series and then I ran those two in parallel and uh, without a load it's reading to 80 volts and this is a 12 volt fan this output here used to be 12 volts, but now that I'm at a 24 volt system, I don't know if you can see this, it's putting out 27.4 volts now, charging the batteries at five amps. I'm not really drawing that much. Um, I couldn't run this little fan, so I had to make this little circuit right here. That's just a 12 volt regulator, and then a little uh, power transistor to handle the current. If you're interested in how I made that, just let me know. It's, uh, it's real simple, 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 simple. And I'm verifying the four and a half is what I'm drawing. And let me take you and show you the other side of it. All right, hang on. So it comes out this side of the garage. And Mosey's on along here. Can't really see it. Conduit's up there and it's going way back there in the back. So let me head on over there. All right, here's that conduit coming through here. And uh, it's coming down right there. This isn't complete. Uh, I've got a, a whole box that's going to cover this. And of course, this is going to be uh, covered. Um, they are, uh, I'm using uh, those isolators there. But um, this panel, um, it, these wires are not connected to this panel. Uh, I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, what I'm talking about. Hang on just a second. Okay, I got the panel off. So, you got the wires coming in through here. Coming up right there. And they're going in there. Now, this pipe I added there goes straight into the kitchen and into the wall. Uh, it is not connected to any of this panel here. And I'll go in there and uh, show you what I've done. Okay. Behind the sheetrock, right here is where that panel is. Okay, so I came in right there and I ran wires through the wall. Okay, I came over here and I added that plug. I made it black so we'd know which one's which. That is connected to the power inverter out in the garage. That's the regular plug. That's my solar plug that I like to call it. And it's connected to, of course, this big old fridge here. It's running it just fine. Um, makes ice, all that good stuff. So we're in the middle of redoing the kitchen. As you can see, I'm making cabinets and stuff. Uh, ran all new circuits, got a new vent hood going in. Pretty cool, a little excited about it. Just put in the new window. Gonna have an apron sink. And uh, that'll be another video. Uh, rewired all this, took this, moved it over there on this side. I don't know if you can see it in there behind this glass. But anyway, I wanted to show you that. 
and it is running this fridge no problem now on the other side of this wall i added another plug because in this room on the other side of this wall is my laundry room and i have a freezer in there but i don't have it connected right now the freezer is not hooked up to it so i'm gonna go back to the garage okay so i'm back in the garage well just wanted to show that to you um did a few changes it's working great um, the only difference i noticed this gets a lot warmer even though it doesn't have to charge quite as high but it must have something to do with the voltage uh that it's a higher voltage it, it runs a lot warmer that's the only reason i put that fan on it but it's working now i'm not planning on running my fridge 24 7 off of this that's not why i made it this is for a power outage during storms or whatever you know this is south texas we've got storms out there right now turning you know it could very easily come our direction and that last storm we had last month uh just a mile down the street they were without power for eight days so you know and i can use this for other things i'm gonna, i got this extra breaker here i'm gonna put a, a box up here and i can run some stuff out here in the garage i plan you know i still got these little refrigerators here uh this, this one might not be quite big enough but you know it's only using what's it saying there 114 watts 120 watts to run that fridge and a fan just came on so it's not using that much so but anyway there you go and uh i thank you for watching and let's see what else i can come up with all right man thanks bye